guys, I'm Britt and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do a how to make a highlight tape as you guys saw from the title. So um, if you haven't watched last week's video, I recommend going to watch that because I showed you guys my actual highlight tape. So I'll just show what I'll be showing you guys today and I'll be leaving a link I don't know, either here or here. I'm not really sure where, to be honest. But they'll, I'll definitely put it in my description if it doesn't pop up here. Whatever. But, yeah, so go make sure to watch that one before watching this one. Because it's just going to show you, like, what I'm going to be doing today. And if you're like, whatever, who cares, just show me the video. Then continue to watch because I'm about to get started. So. Also, I want to just apologize. I know my chair is making like a lot of noise and you guys can probably hear it. You're, you're going to hear it throughout the whole video, let's be honest, because I can't sit still. So, I just apologize for that. I, I tried finding another chair, but I couldn't. <laughs> Clearly. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So, I need to share my screen with you guys. Okay, there. So... What I'm going to be using, as you guys know, is I'm going to be using iMovie, which I already imported um, a clip that I have been, I, I mean, a clip that I've been playing in, a, a clip. What? I already imported a clip. Okay, there we go. So I feel like this is kind of like the longest and not the hardest, but the longest part because you're just going to have to sit and watch film the whole entire time and then... Honestly, just pick out the clips that you like the best of yourself. So I went ahead and I just kind of fast forward that part. Just to a clip that I think is a, a good one to have in a highlight tape. So I'm going to go ahead and watch this little mini clip right here. And you just basically want to like highlight yourself. So, um... This obviously is too long of a clip because at this point it is off, it's not highlighting myself anymore. So what you want to do is just go ahead back and really highlight yourself. So I would say until there, highlight yourself. So what you want to do now is hit Command B and it, it basically just splits up the clip for you. So then everything else you can go ahead and just delete after that. So I am left with this six second mini clip. And this is what I'm left with. Which I think is a decent clip. Okay. So next what you want to do is I like to kind of... Um, highlight myself at the beginning of a clip just to make it known who the viewers are going to be watching. So if you see my last video, you'll see that my highlight tape, I put a blue circle in highlighting myself just to show people that is me, this is who to watch during that clip. Because obviously it's a soccer game, there's multiple people on the field at once. So, that is what I'm going to be showing you guys next. And it can be kind of tricky. Um, so just be patient. And I mean, after a while, you're going to get used to it because you're obviously going to have a good couple clips, I would think. So yeah, just be patient with yourself. You're going to get it. It's going to, it's, it gets easier each clip. Let me just tell you that because what I was doing my highlight tape it was really repetitive and like it kind of got boring after a while but it it was easy so let me sh let me show you what the next step is so what you want to do is go ahead and screenshot the beginning of the clip that you think is most appropriate that will highlight that you could put this circle to highlight yourself so i'm just going to do the beginning of this clip here and what you want to do is go ahead back to the first, back to the front. And what you want to do is make the screen bigger. But when you make the screen bigger, you want to go ahead and press the space bar as soon as the screen gets bigger so the clip doesn't actually play. 
So I went ahead and hit the space bar. So now you want to go ahead and screenshot this image, which you're going to be doing um, control shift four. And as you see, it looks like, like a little cross compass thingy navigation thing. And you want to just go ahead and go to the corner and drag it out. And you want to highlight the whole clip. And it's just going to go ahead and screenshot for you. So now you can hit the escape button and go back to the normal size. And what you want to do is go ahead and import that image, that screenshot, to um, the video. So you're going to just go take the clip and go to the front of the clip. And what I like to do is just bring it down to one second and um, usually, well, with me, I don't know how your settings is. Mine, like, as you guys can see, it just zooms in. So what I like to do is just go and make it crop to fill. So then that means the image just doesn't move. It just stays the same. So this is what you should have as of right now. And it just gives you that little pause before the actual clip starts of yourself so now what we're gonna go do is go and put like an arrow or a circle to highlight yourself really and this is kind of where it gets kind of tricky so what you want to do first is just basically just take a random screenshot of anything on your screen and I just do it of my background so what you want to do is um, hit control shift 4 again and just it doesn't have to be the whole screen. It could just be like a little part and just take a picture of it. So now what you want to go ahead and do is go open your Safari and go search um, whatever you want to highlight yourself. So I, I'm going to do the blue circle and I like to put in clip art transparent. And let's just see what pops up. Transparent background. And then go to images. And so with this is, um, as you guys can see, there's so many different circles. But when you go ahead, obviously you wouldn't want this one because you are not going to be able to see. It's not like a true circle. You want the inside to be clear. You know what I mean? So this one here, this, you know, will be transparent because there's squares on the inside and squares on the inside, outside. So, you know, when you go and um, copy this, that it will be transparent. So now that you have your circle, you want to want to go and go back to your screenshot. This is gonna where it kind of gets tricky and you want to go ahead and hit command a and it highlights the picture inside and what you want to do is just go ahead and delete it just delete it so now you have no image in there so now you're gonna go back to your circle that you found and you're just gonna want to oops it's gonna be kind of tricky I feel like oh shoot you're just going to want to go ahead and copy this image. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and copy image. And then minimize the screen. And what you want to do is go ahead and paste the image in here, which will be command, command V. And what you want to do is just go to the, hit the image. Oh my God, delete all that. You're going to go on and go hit the image and go to the corner and just kind of make it smaller in a way and just keep it in the middle. It doesn't really matter. And then you guys can really go ahead and exit out of there. Now, go back into iMovie and you're going to go import and you're going to go to screenshots and there's your circle and you're going to want to go ahead and import that into your video so now what we're gonna go do is select the circle and drag that 
to the part that is a picture before the clip actually starts. So we can go ahead and make that also one second. And now we want to go and put it picture in picture so that the circle is a lot smaller. So now, what is happening here? Picture in picture, but then now we want to go to crop to fill and you can make this bigger so that the whole circle, oh my gosh. Oh, just fit. You could just hit fit. So the whole circle is now in the image. And now when you go back, look at the circle. You can make it bigger so that it highlights yourself. And there you go. So now when you watch it over again, actually that circle's kind of big. I'm going to go ahead and make that a little smaller. perfect so now when people go to watch your film they can see that where you are on the video or in the film so this is what we have so it just gives you that so it just gives you that little pause at the beginning and it highlights where you are and then it allows the clip to go and people can follow where you are on the film. So that is basically all I did. Um, it's not that hard to be honest. I mean, it is tricky at the beginning and it's a lot of little mini steps, but after you get the, all that figured out, it's pretty easy to put together. It just takes a while because obviously you're not just doing one clip, you're gonna be doing multiple. So it just takes time. But um, that is literally all I did. I hope that was simple and easy for you guys to understand. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you can always ask me. And yeah, that is it. That's how I basically made my highlight tape. That's, yeah, that's all I did. Um, and I'm pretty happy with my result, to be honest. That, that was my first time making a highlight tape. And I think it turned out pretty good. So... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it just helped you guys. Um, remember to like and subscribe if you guys are still watching. But I think that is all for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video.